Hello, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. That's B-E-X-X -X with Black Whisper Crafts. And I just wanted to show you what I've been working on. I completed my first winter junk journal. And really excited, I upcycled Amazon package. And that is what I use for the cover. And uh, let's get this sari silk off here. That's just, just tied it up with sari silk. It's not real thick. Kind of has a little teeny mini gator mouth when it opens up, but this is beautiful sari silk. Just love it. I didn't dye it or anything. I left it the color. It's gorgeous. And the tassel is hooked on with one of these little clips right there. And you can take it off just like that. And I put three bells on one of the Tim Holtz chains. And that's probably a Tim Holtz clip too. But this, in this journal, I have used Joanne products, Michael's products, Timu products, Dollar General, Dollar Tree. And what other place is there? Amazon, of course products from all of these different stores. Put them all together and make something beautiful. And then the lace, I just tied it in a knot and I just clip this, the bells through it. I think the bells just go wonderfully with a winter journal. And you can see underneath, under here I put book page. There's a book page underneath this. And then this was part of a 12 by 12. With this is on the corner, the beautiful deer. And then on the spine, I reinforced it with muslin. And I used the archival ink distress ranger, vintage photo to vintage it up, ink it up. And then I Let's see, I think that's underneath. It is. Okay, then I stitched around using a beautiful stitch all the way around on the front, and I did the same thing on the back. And then I used a cluster that I made. I made this cluster for the inside, but it worked out pretty for the outside. Just fit perfectly in the area that I stitched around the beautiful stitches. So I put this down, this tool, that beautiful gold tool put a piece of that down and then I glued the this piece of cardstock then some cheesecloth then the music cardstock then there's a little bit of tool between the music cardstock and the paisley the green burgundy and cream cardstock then this little bitty mesh then this is one of the cutouts on the chipboard and then I put a bow I inked up the bow made the bow then I inked it up it's the same muslin as right here I thought that turned out really pretty so I just went ahead and glued the tool all the way down here and the spine this same lace right here see there looks like a seam I cut it apart a lot and use it as two pieces but I put it over the spine just glued it on the spine just to look pretty after I bound it but this this bell that little bell is a ring. and then these are just the glass beads metallic and gold and browns earth tones and then there are two little chips here tiger's eye chips but this bell and all of this is strung on the end of where right there you can see where I ended my stitching at and I left the tool jagged because I like grungy. I like things to look handmade. I do not like them to look perfect. Two other belts on there. There we go. So that's why I just left it jagged. And all of the corners, these two on the front and these two on the back, have the little corner protectors on them, the bronze ones. I'll open it up. And there you can see the Amazon packaging and the stitching. It's beautiful stitching on my new brother sewing machine. So excited. But this is what I'm calling the paisley pattern with the burgundy and the greens. Gorgeous, gorgeous. 
And I, before I glued it on, I stitched this ivory colored lace on with that pattern stitch. And have a few little things in the pocket. This is the last of my very first beet dyed paper. And I just stamped the wreath on it and inked up the edges with black soot. But you can see the really dark pink there from the beet juice. And then I just think this is so pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous with the foil on it. So I just made a bookmark. So you'd have a bookmark for it. And some music notes, and I just stamped some snowflakes on it with vintage photo. Hi, cobwebs. Come on, baby. Did you just wait? Come here. It's okay. You can come up here. Come on, baby. Yeah, it's all right. I know. You wake up and you wake up scared. It's okay. Mommy's right here. Come on up. It's okay. And this page, so you can see the muslin, did the muslin on the inside and the outside for reinforcement of the spine. But here's a pocket. I just inked it up with Vintage Photo and I stamped the snowflakes with Ground Espresso. The same here, the Ground Espresso. Most of the things, most everything that is inked is inked in Vintage Photo. And you can tell this is the black soot. But most of the stamped images are in Ground Espresso. This just... Pretty, pretty. I love that stamp. It's a postcard, so you can just turn on the back of it. Very nice. And this is a map. The British Isle. And I put a snowflake right in the middle, and I just stitched around it. And I stamped some lines on it. So it's a little Turner card. But I love the texture and all of the noise that everything makes. I'm a, I think a lot, and I like the texture. to. That helps me think when I can just run my hands over some texture and I love the glue spots. I intentionally leave glue spots in my journals because I love to run my finger over them. This one's nice and smooth, but I'll also leave a glue spot of um, art glitter glue. It makes it bumpy. I just love it. And here is the January song, but I did a little different stitching here. And I hand stamped it on the back. So you can turn on that. I'll just pop these back in here. Isn't that gorgeous? Burgundy wine colored deer that are out in the forest. Just gorgeous. I left a little bit of the strings there. And I did uh, stamp the evergreen trees. That one and I use the fancy stitching and this is the same that is on the binding the same lace I just cut it in half and then this is what the other side this is actually a zigzag and that's what shows up on the other side of the zigzag this is a sticker it is a raised sticker you can feel it it's one of the things I like is all of the texture and that's raised and this is uh, my painty papers and all of the brown papers in here, I hand dyed them. Tea, tea stain, tea dyed, however you want to say it. But I do coffee and tea mixture together because I like a dark, rich color. But I did paint over this with the Folk Art Metallic Pure Gold. And this is brown, which is a beautiful, rich brown. This reminds me of the forest. And I did some fancy stitching here, and I did a straight stitch here so it wouldn't be so floppy. And I had pink safety pin. I don't do pink very often, and when I do, I like to grab all my little bitty pink elements and just put a pink safety, safety pin there. That looks really pretty. Plenty of room to journal. And this is gorgeous. This is, has nothing to do with <laughs> any of the rest of it, but I am super random. I am random all the time. Um, I may call you six months away from your birthday and tell you happy birthday early. I'm just a very random person. But this is on a little paper clip so you can journal behind it. And But this is so gorgeous on this pink piece of paper and it reminded me of spring. Even though it's winter, spring is always going to be right around the corner. Just a reminder. You can also journal on the back, you know, it's, 
If you're going to move your garden around, make some notes, or you need to order some seed packets, just make you some notes on there and just, yeah, spring is on the way. And this is just a little ultra paper clip. It just has a snippet of pink and a snippet of tan. I think that is hem tape or seam tape, you call it. Then at the bottom here, it's just a little texture, nice little rub spot when you're thinking. It's that muslin, mes muslin, and I just stamped over it with uh, the ground espresso, cut it with my pinking shears, and just sewed it on there. And this is that pretty yellow. It says it's yellow, but it looks more like a cream color to me. Lace. Here's another little journal spot. Just a little journal card I inked up. Tuck it under there. Plenty of room to journal. And this is one of the chipboard pieces. So nice. And I dripped some glue on there so it's a little bumpy on purpose. It's a nice rubbing spot. Just a think and think. Just, yeah, I think things over in my mind and it just helps me. I'm a sensory person, so. And this is gorgeous. I love these green with the white dots. I think that this went so well with this. But I just did straight stitch around. When I got here, I did the fancy stitch on the top. And that's a postcard that is raised. It's embossed, pre-embossed already. One thing I did to it was the sewing around the edges and I did the uh, ground espresso, did some snowflakes, and I did the journal lines. That, and this is a pink envelope, and I stamped the snowflakes on it. So these little pieces of ephemera in here. This is, I did the snowflake on it. It looks like a, um, some sort of a receipt, but it's a little mini. So I just stamped some lines on the back. And this, I stamped the snowflake on the pretty pattern. And it's a postcard, a mini one. And I just stamped the trees on here and inked up the edges with the black soot. A daily detail. It's cute. I thought there was one, two, three. I thought there was one item in there. Nope, must be the other envelope. There's another envelope. That can just tuck right back behind there. And I just love these doilies. And I inked the edges with Vintage Photo and the Ground Espresso. I stamped the uh, snowflake on there. And if you'll notice, I don't, not, nothing is hardly ever even, straight, anything. I like things to look handmade. I'm not a perfectionist. I like them to look grungy and uneven and just yummy fun. But on the other side, you can write on it. Just fold it up and just tuck it in here. It just looks pretty. You can tear it up and use it or just leave it in there. Just left the strings on there. And here's pink lace. I just cut this piece. This and this are the same piece. I just cut them in half because they were so wide, but that's pretty. Here's another raised sticker. Nice texture. And here, I love that crinkle sound. And that nice feel there. Nice texture. And this is nice coffee and tea stained paper. And I do bake them so they get the line on them from my oven. I like that. I just really, really love that sound. Nice and smooth. Another gold painting paper. Got some pretty raised sticker there, some berries. Here's another very nice texture spot. I put the, um, this is just cardstock under there. And I glued the tool on it, so it's really nice and textured. Here's another nice texture spot. It's the gold, and it makes into a tab. This is a tab also. This is just a sticker. It's more of my beet juice stained. The last pages I had, my very first beet stained papers. And lay it this way on my oven to get the stripes that way, and of course this way to get them this way. But yeah, here's another sticker that's raised. The burgundy and gold is so pretty. The other part of the sticker here is Ticket. And that side. And this, we're almost to the center. There is only one signature. Pretty much 8.5 by 11. Cover is just a little bit bigger, but pretty much 8.5 by 
11 on the sizing. Eight and a half by 11? No. Yeah. Let's see. This is eight and a half by 11 this way. Opened up. It's eight and a half by 11. Wow, that was a close one, wasn't it? It's eight and a half by five and a half <laughs> when it's closed up. So the beautiful stitching for the center. Look at that. That not gorgeous. There's a little bit of gold too. You can feel it. Just love that and all the texture and the sound it makes. But here I left these long. This is wax thread and there's a key there. Lay the key out so you can see it. And there's a little bitty heart right there. And here's some more of the bronze and gold and clear beads. Hangs down just far enough that you can close it. But this is a gorgeous spot. Here's another pocket. I love to do them unique shapes. And then I put a sticker on top. And another where I journal page. This is the January, no, the, the New Year song. And I just put some pinecone stickers and I had already stamped it underneath with the ground espresso snowflakes. And on the back, I did the same as I did the other cards. I just put the lines on it and just added another sticker. Lots of texture going on. Lots of nice texture. Let's tuck that back in there. And here's the other envelope. It's a craft envelope. And I stamped it with the ground espresso and I inked up the edges. Let's see what we have in here. Little journal spot. Stamp the snowflakes on it. That gorgeous paper is so pretty. That would be pretty wallpaper. It's like a mahogany with a gold hint on there. And this is just a little piece of ephemera or journal card. Little ones. I like many things. And stamp the snowflakes, ink the edges. And there is a grid graph paper or grid pattern, however you want to say it. And this is cardstock it is a fake notepad. There's a snowflake. You can journal there and journal on the back. Stamp the snowflake there too. And here you can feel that's just a raise. A little bit, a little bit raised. Snowflake on there and did the snowflake on the back, but you can journal on that side. And this is some of my coffee tea dyed paper. Love that sound. But I just stamped the snowflake and the ground espresso. You can open it up, make a note in there. You can open it this way to make a note. You could glue the side shut, make an envelope. You could rip it apart and have three pieces of paper. It's whatever you'd like to do. So fun. I love to do stuff like this. I tuck that back in there. And there's a tab. It was wood grain paper, and I just stamped the snowflake on it to make a tab. There's the beet juice stained papers, and here's another one of the clusters I made for this. And I made a pocket out of it, just the gold ribbon. And then there are some bumps on this of the glue. There's a nice tab, unique shape. Little pieces of ephemera here. You can journal on a little postcard. Stamp. You can barely see the snowflake on there. The snowflake's on here. It says a trip rating. <laughs> 1 through 10. <laughs> but I just stamped some lines on the back. So you can journal on that. And this is the months of the year. I just stamped some snowflakes on there. And some grid pattern on the back. Where you could journal. And here's just a scrap that I made into a journal spot. Trees stamp. I love the sound. Tuck these back in here. There we go. Oh, love the sound of these papers. Nice and crisp. Nice tree there, gold one. And then here is a nice tab. Then here's the bird. It's a little raised sticker. Really pretty. And here's the other piece, the other half of the pink ribbon. Oh, 
pretty pattern there. I like the feel of those. And then this is my sensory thing too. Beautiful gold foil in there. And this is just, just for fun. You can write on it. I would write on it probably with my brown Sharpie marker. That's what I would use. But I made a little journal page out of this. A journal spot, I mean. Just stamped it with the ground espresso snowflakes. Open it up. It's a nice, pretty shape. I love the sound of it. I bake my papers in the oven so that they'll be that crispy. Yes, because I like that sound. I didn't dry them all sorts of ways, but that's my favorite because I like that sound. And here is another one of my beet juice dot stain papers. You can see the darker color there. That pretty cream colored. Just did a straight stitch on it. It's so pretty. This is just for an accent. I just cut a piece of paper and put some snowflakes on it. Put it right there with that nice tag. Nice sound in the papers. Here's another cluster I made. I don't know if you can see the glue or not, but I love those glue spots. Just to be able to nice texture there. And this is what is left over from here. I wrapped it around the tree, that wax thread. And another sensory thing here with the gold ribbon. I just put some music notes over the words that were back there because I didn't think they, the colors didn't really go with what I was doing here. So I just covered it up with the music notes and turned out great. Made it into a pocket. And who doesn't need money? hundred dollars. <laughs> just fun money. But I put the little pine cone on there just to make it go with the journal and then stamp some of the gold. And it looks gold on this paper, but it's not gold. It is the ground espresso ink with the trees and I did the trees on the back too. Just something fun. And then I did the wreath again with the ground espresso and then I inked it up with the black soot. It's a really pretty shape. I like different shapes. There we go. Just tuck those in there. All of the zigzag stitch. The texture. There's some more of the brown lace. There's the rest of the other side of that gorgeous with the deer and berries and the trees. I love the color, the wine color. And then I just made a pocket here. Unique shape. Got some more of the tea. A couple of tea stained paper. Love the color, the rich color. But you could tear it apart and have three pieces of, pieces of paper. You could put it this way and make it an envelope. You could just leave it like that and journal on it if you want to. Ground espresso snowflakes and I inked it up with the black soot. And here is the back cover. Just like the front one, it has the paisley pattern. The greens and the burgundy wine colors and the lace. The fancy stitching before I glued it on. And take this out a second. This is another cluster I made, but I didn't really have any where I specifically wanted it, so I put it here, and I think it's really pretty. I put that gold foil paper in the back, the cardstock, and then some lace, and then I just put the bird on top. It looks really pretty, and here's a, another scrap, just a scrap that was left over from my beet juice stain dyed papers. Just randomly put the snowflakes on it. I think it looks really pretty and just cut it out in an icicle shape. But when you open it, it looks like elf ears. <laughs> I think that's cute. Yeah. It just tucks right down in there nicely. Looks really pretty. And of course we have the corners, the bronze corners on here. And the back, there's my last cluster. I made three of them. And this one, it also, I just put it on that same did the paper big enough so I could just put it over the top of this. And there is the cheesecloth. And there's the raised image. And put one of the gold bows. It's so pretty. And then I put it right here on the back. So when you're holding it in your hand, you can feel of that different levels. Layers. Very nice. And I really like that too. Inked up all this. Inked up the back of it because there's not a deer any deer on this part so very nice I think it's very nice for my very first winter journal and you can use it anywhere from 
uh, November, December, January, February, March 19th is when winter is over for us, officially on the calendar. But, yeah. Thought it turned out really nice. And thank you so much for watching. I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. Have a wonderful day.